And now the last thing I want to target here in this tutorial is how to find more keywords that you can target for your business. So here on the Google Ads dashboard, we can click on tools and settings on the top and then we can come over here to the left side and click on keyword planner. Here we want to click on discover new keywords and then you can either type in a website, maybe a competitor and find keywords that way. Or what we're going to do is we're going to start with keywords. So here we can type in seed keywords, like a broad keyword that you're going to use as a seed keyword, seed keyword to find more keywords that are related to um, your business. So let's say website, website design as a seed keyword. And um, what we're also going to have to make sure is to uh, that the language is correct. So here it's set to German. So I'm going to change it to English and then the location. I'm going to change it to United States. Click on save and then click on get results. Now here again on the top, you can see United States, English and Google search engine. And then also uh, the, the results for the last year. So the last 12 months, which is fine. And then you're going to have all the different keywords that Google thinks are related to your main keyword right here. So you can see we have 707 keywords, keyword ideas. So what you basically want to do is you want to go through them and find keywords that you maybe that you maybe didn't think of that you can also target and try out to get some new customers or clients. And because we have sorted our ad groups by interest or intention, you want to sort them. You want to basically click on download keyword ideas um, and then you want to basically sort them into different intentions so you can create new ad groups with those specific keywords. Now it's going to take some time to go through all these keywords. So there are a couple of ways how you can basically narrow down the search. One cool option right here is the refine keywords um, option here on the right side. So you can click on brand or non-brand and then because for example, I have a, let's say I have a business that only creates websites using WordPress. And then I want to untick all of these other platforms like Wix, Shopify, Squarespace, uh, Magento, Wibbly, uh, Drupal and Joomla. Um, so I want to uncheck them. So now I have only 672 search results left. So then I can also go through these other brands. I can also go through these services. So maybe I don't offer graphic design. So I'm going to uncheck graphic design, logo design and stuff like that. And that way I can already narrow down my search and it makes it quicker to find the right keywords for me. So again, you can just um, just take all the keywords that you want to, to download, then click on download the keyword ideas. And then I will just put them in an Excel sheet and just um, sort them like this. And then you can create a new ad group for specific uh, kind of angle specific intentions that you have discovered here in the keyword planner.